Hi, I'm Jason McAteer, and you're watching the Red Men TV. Hello, welcome to the Red Men TV. It's your daily news update. We've got three things we're going to be discussing on the show this morning. Uh, two bits of transfer news and one piece of injury news. We'll do the injury news first, and then we'll come on to uh, Liverpool being linked with another free transfer for a midfielder and a move for a goalkeeper as well. First and foremost, and really disappointing, Kevin Stewart's apparently done his ankle ligaments in training ahead of the Augsburg game. Uh, Jürgen Klopp said that I think it, the ball the ball struck him and, it, and it, his, his foot wasn't planted properly or whatever. It's all bruised. Apparently he's gone for a scan and the, the, the fear and the worst on it, which is really bad. I, there was a guy, I, randomly enough, and I apologise for, apologize for the tangent, the guy, I was in the chippy last night and a guy he started got a chat to a to a to a to a red men viewer and um I was saying how pleased I was that Kevin Shute was getting his opportunity. I thought he'd he'd done really well in the the B team as it were, you know, in the in the cup team. And he deserved to be on the bench against Villa and he deserved the chance to come on as well. And I was really, really been really, really impressed and really, really pleased and it's great. And I, I compared the situation to uh, Cockwell at Arsenal. And I'm not saying he's as good as Cockwell, but that thing of where you've got a young player, he gets a chance and he comes in, and all of a sudden you've got a, if not necessarily an amazing player, although they think he is, um, you've, you've given yourself a really good and, and smart option. So, yeah, hopefully. Fingers crossed it's not too bad and hopefully he's not out for more than a more than a couple of weeks with it because like I say, I just want to see him get games and there's a point where Lucas Leib is clearly the first choice for that actual defensive defensive midfield, you know, job. But I wanna see I wanna see a young lad, I think, in terms of the midfield, you should have uh, a guy who's come up, I know he's not come up through the academy, such so know we bought him in from Spurs like, but one of those younger guys who you've not spent millions and millions and millions and millions of pounds on. Let let him let him get his chance, and you know he's thought of very highly. Now. So I hope between now and the end of the season there will be opportunities. I think for players like that to step in. If it, you know ultimately if it's not Kevin Stewart, hopefully someone like Brannigan takes the chance, or Rochester comes back and takes the chance, or Kiravea, whatever. It's just disappointing because you don't like to see lads who've built themselves up to an opportunity not being able to take it because because of unfortunate injury situations. The good news is that Klopp said that pardon me is that Lucas Leiva will be back for the Augsburg game, which is something. Moving on to transfer news, because I know everyone loves a bit of transfer news, even though the window's only been shut for two weeks. Um, it's all ramped up again. And to be fair, because we've actually signed a player in the last week, so it's only fair that we continue to, uh, to spice it up. The, the one at the minute they're talking about is Havard Nordvate. Now, I'll, I've got some facts that Aubrey's expertly prepared for me, but I'll go to the Liverpool Echo article on this first. Joe Rimmer's doing the live blog today. Uh, they're talking about they say the Reds are said to be in, uh, said to be interested in bringing former Arsenal man Havard Nordveit, uh, Norwegian internationals, out of contract at the end of the season uh, with Borussia Mönchengladbach. He's 25 years old, and what, what's interesting is the thing we're saying uh, he, he'll make his decision in a week, and then he's come out and said, um, "What I really meant um, was my future will be sorted in weeks, not a week." Um, now my advisor is already currently on holiday, then we'll see, there is no new update. One interesting thing from the sporting director of uh, Bruce Schumann and Gladbach, Max uh, Abels, told Sport Built, we made him a very, very good offer and I'm still optimistic that we can keep Howie, which is presumably his nickname. Um, when it comes to money, and he referring to Premier against Premier League teams, we have no chance. So which is always an interesting point if we really want and we could probably get him. Is he the kind of player that we th we should be targeting? I mean, we've already got Grugic coming in. We know that Matip's probably coming in as a centre half, but we know he can play in midfield as well. There's another midfielder coming in. There's talk about Camacho uh, as well. There could be another another midfielder. Is that where Klopp's going to be targeting a major rebuild this summer? And is he right to do so? And really, are we right to do so by doing it on with like cheap signings, or do we do you feel that we need to go out and spend mega bucks in order to achieve this? Interesting question, just a couple of little facts we've got here. So yeah, 25 years old, plays for Borussia Mönchengladbach, in holding mid, he used to play for Arsenal, made no appearances, but he was out on loan three times. In 2011, he moved to uh, to, to Gladbach. He can play centre-back, right-back, as well as defensive, centre midfield, DCM, always nice to see. Um, six foot two, 24 international caps, two goals. Um, but it's another example, and this is a point that will be made to me, that it's another guy over six foot. And I think, you know, Paul Tompkins has made a big thing of it, this on the Tompkins Times in recent weeks. 
that we're a very, very short side and we need a little bit more physicality. So he at least he fits the physical mold of what we're looking for. I've never seen him play, so I don't want to comment to his ability level. If you've seen him play, do let me know in the comments below. Uh, the next piece of transfer news is about Antonio Adan. Uh, those of you who played football manager like 2006 will know that he was a really promising Real Madrid youth goalkeeper. Um, just not as good as ACS. Um, or, but then, actually, sorry, I was going to say all, but fighting for a place with Jersey Dudek for the place on the bench. Um, he's at Real Betis at the moment, and the uh, Spanish newspaper AS are reporting there's a 6.2 million release clause in his contract. That's pretty much the length and breadth of that. Just a couple of interesting facts. Interesting but facts on him. Yeah, 28 years old. He started at Real Madrid where he made a grand total of seven appearances. Moved to Cagliari when his contract there was terminated. Made just two appearances there for moving to Betis. Uh, he's made, I think, in the region of about 80 appearances in the last three seasons for Betis. So he's established himself. I, think, I, don't, I can't, the timeline might be slightly skewed on this, but he, he only made about 17 or 18, I think, in his first season. And I don't know whether that was him coming in during the season or him establishing himself during that season. But either way, he looks like he's been their first choice goalkeeper since. An interesting one, 28 years old. That's, you know, that's how old our other two senior goalkeepers are. They're in that ballpark. Um, and the question is, again, I'll ask you a question this to answer it in the comments below. <sighs> Do, is he good enough? For the first and foremost, again, I've not seen him. Do you think he's a good enough good enough guy to come in? Would he, would he be coming in as a first choice? Would he be coming in as our backup? And if he's coming in as our backup, what happens to Danny Ward? What's the point of Danny Ward? He's having a pretty decent loan spell out at Aberdeen. If he's not being considered to be a, a, a first choice player for the club, What's the point? What what next for Danny Ward? I guess. But there you go. That's the uh, that's your daily news update for Wednesday. The date that it is today, the seventeenth of February. Uh, give this video a thumbs up. Check out the subscriber shows on the RedmenTV.com. We're going to be discussing loads more on Joel Matip. We'll do a little bit, I guess, on Nordveit as well. Um, the beauty of goals. Uh, do we need more from Jordan Henderson? A whole host of other amazing and brilliant topics. Go to the RedmanTV.com, completely free for a month. Try it out. You'll enjoy it. I promise. And if you think I'm lying, go on there, check it out, and prove me wrong. Anyway, thanks for watching. ta -da. I get the Telegraph, the Express. It doesn't really fall into that category, but the same, nevertheless. Uh, so, yeah, we, we talked a lot about Matip uh, in the January transfer window. The rumours that he might have moved 